Should you do a master's degree or a PhD before applying to residency in the US? Hello friends, this is Malki Asad, a plastic surgery residency in the US and in this video I'm gonna present to you the advantages and disadvantages of pursuing a master's degree or a PhD before applying to the match and then you can make the informed decision of whether this is the right thing for you. Before we get started, if you're interested in learning about research and how to take a research project from idea to publication, go ahead and check out our research course, which is designed for beginners to teach them everything they need to know about clinical research. And now, let's get started. There are multiple advantages of pursuing a master's degree or a PhD. The first of which is the experience that you would get from these degrees. So if you're pursuing a master's of clinical science or master of public health, you would learn a lot about these fields by taking lectures, doing projects, learning from people who are very known in these fields and who are experts in these fields. So the experiences that you would get from pursuing these degrees would teach you a lot of skills that you can use afterwards in your life. The second advantage is the degree itself. So whenever you apply for a position, having this extra PhD or MPH or MBA next to your name gives you an advantage compared to other applicants. So if two exactly similar applicants, one with a PhD, one without a PhD, the people selecting the applicant might favor someone with a PhD because they have more experiences and they are able to do more research, for example, if they are PhD students or more public health research if they're uh, with MPH, more business work if they're in MBA. That's why the degree itself might give you an advantage when you're applying to positions and that's why some residency applicants pursue the degree to increase their chances of matching. But this is very tricky because if you look at the NRMP data, which are data from different applicants and different program directors each year, you don't find having a master's degree or a PhD to affect the match results significantly. Again, if there is an applicant that is exactly similar to another applicant and one has a PhD and one doesn't, program directors might favor the one with a PhD or with the master's. But remember that these degrees take time. They don't come free. The PhD might take four or five years Masters of Science or Masters of Public Health might take two, three years. So just think about all these factors, although it gives you the advantage by having the degree, it's not free. It costs money and it costs time as well. The third advantage of having a degree is the connections you build throughout your degree. So if you spend a year or two at an institution, you start uh, knowing the people, these people might connect you to someone who might help you in your match or your endeavors after your residency. So pursuing a degree might help you establish these connections that might help you in the future. Now, after we talked about the advantages of pursuing a master's degree or PhD, let's talk about the disadvantages. And in my opinion, time is the main disadvantage of pursuing these degrees because you have very limited time after you graduate from medical school to apply to residency or even if you're doing inside your medical school to do these activities. And PhD take years, sometimes five or six years. Masters can take a year up to two or three. So the time that you are using to pursue this degree, can you use it in a better way to increase your chances of matching or not? If you're pursuing this degree just for the purpose of match. So can you use that time that you used for the degree to do something else that can help you more? Can you use that time to do a research fellowship that might get you more publications or more connections or not? This is the question. The question is not whether the masters help you or not. The question is whether masters will help you more or less compared to something else you do in the same time. So the time factor is definitely one of the disadvantages of pursuing a master's degree or a PhD. The other disadvantage is the money. Most of the master's degree are paid, so you have to pay in order to pursue the master's degree. PhD is a little bit different because most of the time they pay you to be a PhD student after they approve your application. So the money is not a big problem for PhD, but for master's degrees, majority of the time you have to pay and pay a big amount of money. Now going to the publications, if you're pursuing master's degree or PhD for the purpose of publications to improve your CV and apply with a better CV, I can tell you that you might get more publications from pursuing a research fellowship compared to a master's degree. Because in a master's degree, the majority of your time is spent in classes, while in a research fellowship, the majority of your time is actually on the front line doing actual research on publishing papers. PhD is very unique because you would specialize in a very specific topic and maybe find something very novel. But again, it might take five or six years to publish an amazing, phenomenal paper. On the other hand, if you spend that time in research fellowship, you might publish one amazing paper or five amazing papers or five less quality papers. So this is another thing that you have to keep in mind when deciding on whether pursuing a master's degree or a PhD will help you in the match itself 
because you might not get enough publications that significantly boost your application. And there is actually an interesting study that we recently did on plastic surgeons and we found that people with masters, people with PhD have higher number of publications and citations compared to those without the degrees. However, the people with the highest number of publications and citations did not have a PhD and a master's degree, which means you can get the experience to do research with or without the degree. So the degree is not the only way for you to learn about a topic or learn about research. You can be more publishable with another experience, maybe a research fellowship only, or maybe an experience during residency. So what I'm trying to say is master's degree and PhD are not the only route if you want to pursue research or learn about research or get publications. Another disadvantage of uh, master's degrees and PhDs are the type of connections you build because as I said connections could be considered an advantage for these degrees because you're establishing your connections with people in the US you're learning people who might know someone who can help you with residency but the majority of your time is spent with people who are not the decision makers for residency programs so if you're doing a research fellowship, on the other hand, you're spending your time with chairs of departments, associate professors, assistant professors who are involved generally in the residency selection process. But if you're doing a master's of public health, the majority of your teachers and the people assessing your performance are not even doctors. They're not even MDs and that might not reflect in connections that can help you match. Again, having connections to the master's is better than not having these connections at all. But this is not the question. The question is, can I use that same time to build better connections or connections that can help me more in matching or not? That is the question that you should ask yourself. So now after we discuss the advantages and disadvantages, you might ask yourself, so what should I do? Should I pursue the master's or the PhD or just a research fellowship or US clinical experience or none of the above? And the answer depends on you. Because if you're pursuing the master's degree or PhD just for the purpose of the match, there might be other ways to help you match, in my opinion. You might do a research fellowship and might, that might help you more. But if you're interested in the type of experience you're getting from the masters, yes, go ahead and pursue the masters. Because the masters will, might teach you something that you might not learn in the research fellowship. So if you're someone who is very interested in business administration and you want to work in that domain in, in the future, go ahead and do an MBA, that's fine. If you want to work in the public health arena, go ahead and do masters of public health. But don't only pursue the MPH and the MBA and the masters of science just because you want to improve your CV. I don't think that's a good mentality or just pursue five years of a PhD just to improve your CV because you can use that time to do things that are much more relevant for you to match. So if the purpose is just matching, I don't recommend doing the masters. But if you're really interested in the field of the masters or the field of the PhD, and this is something you want to incorporate in your career in the future, that is why you should be doing the masters and the PhD. So I'm not encouraging or discouraging anyone from pursuing a masters or a PhD. I'm just wanting you to make an informed decision. So what you get from that experience is something you apply in life. I've seen so many students who have multiple lines of degrees next near their name and they never use these experiences or these degrees because they just use it to get to the next level. So just think about these things whenever you're making the decision and if you need any help of deciding whether the master's degree or the PhD or pursuing a research fellowship or anything else is better for you, go ahead and schedule a consultation on our website in which we can have one-on-one -on -one discussion with you to guide you, make the best decision that can help you achieve your goals during residency and afterwards. So to summarize, pursuing a master's degree or a PhD has multiple advantages. The degree itself, the experiences you get from this degree, and the connections you build throughout your experience. But on the other hand, it has disadvantages because the time you spend and the amount of money you spend to pursue these degrees might be better spent in other ways. Also, the type of connections you build from these degrees might not be as helpful as other ways to match in residency in the US. So in my opinion, the decision to pursue these degrees should be individualized and based on your goals and what you want to do in your life after residency. I hope this video helps you and guides you in deciding whether a master's degree or a PhD is the right decision for you. If you find any value in this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell sign so you get notified whenever I post future videos on my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below or feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter at Malka Asad. 
my Facebook page, Malki Asad MD, or our email, info at themagicguide.com. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and good luck on your journey.